Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm finishing off some paper weaving and I was going to show you how I mount this onto some background so that it will stay firm. So if I turn it over, you can see it's just a simple weaving process. It's just like a little woven paper mat. The trick is to number each of your pieces as you put them in, on one side at least. And then I've added these strips of cork that I've cut from a sheet that I purchased I think from the local art store and I'm going to attach these pieces of cork so they won't move that's the first thing with some glue and then I'm going to attach it to the back so that it will stay folded like this it will stay in this formation Uh, this rice glue is wonderful for any paper project really. So what I want to do is attach these pieces. Now how I've made this, I printed the background using some core flute board. I put some spray inks on the back and I used some Ganzai Tambi paint as well, the Kuretake paint. And then I added these embellishments, which were from a kit from Uniquely Creative, which is a lovely brand of crafting supplies, and wove everything in together. Now, what I need to do is keep everything in one place. So I'm going to work at these little bits of cork, and I'm going to weave them back in through so that we've got some variations in here particularly down the bottom. I want to get a bit of variation down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave over and under just to add this piece of cork. So it's getting woven in at the end of the process or near the end. And I just want it to Look as though it's continuing under there, like that. I'm just going to tuck that little bit under like that. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue underneath here so we can catch that end piece. And I want this pretty straight on here too. So now we've got this little piece just in here. Don't really want to see those edges. So glue that there. Anywhere else where it needs to be glued in, that one needs to be pushed up a little. I'm going to tuck it under that piece there. So just tweaking it really to get it finished off. To make this rigid, I need to attach it to the backing piece, which is just a plain piece of paper. So I'm going to glue on the back with a larger brush. So I've got a really big brush. And you can see how when you do this, if you number your pieces that you're weaving, then you won't get so mixed up. I'm just going to give it a nice coat of glue on the back. Okay, we're going to get right down to the corners here of the edges. I'm going to turn it over carefully and mount it into this white piece. Get it roughly in the centre. All right, now I'm going to put a fresh sheet of paper over the top paper that I've cut off and I'm going to use that to burnish it on one side and then I'm going to flip it and burnish the other side and 
and that is looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to check that there's nothing that needs to be tweaked on this. That might need a little bit of glue under there so that doesn't move. Uh, and I'll push it just a little bit further because I want it to peek under there. That's good. And what else have we got here? That one there could probably add a little bit more glue underneath it to the top and push that up a little bit more so it's more tightly woven. But that's the gist of it. That's our woven. And see how beautiful it is. I'm really happy with that. I think it's really nice. This piece is sticking up. Grab that piece. There we go. Anywhere else that's sticking up? So there it is. It's a pretty good project, this one. It's a lot of fun to do. Just tapping down any pieces that are still lifting. There shouldn't be too many. Let's push that down a little bit more. Push this one down a little bit more. And we're good. So there's our first one done. So that's an example of paper weaving. So if we bring it up really close, you can see the fine details in it. Of the printed background, the weaving, the cork pieces that have run through it, and how it's now attached to this piece, and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.